O light, come to reconcile. Come in like a child, holy night. O light, hallelujah, light will chase and find us. Love is facing us again. Hallelujah, holy God is with us. Love is always born within. So all of the canvases lived with me um, throughout the whole process and um, in the studio. And so one night I had a paint party um, for a family and they brought a little boy named Owen <laughs> to the party and he was just so captivated by these large canvases. And he, you could just tell he loved painting and found so much joy in it. And he kept asking me all these questions about my work, but specifically about these big blank canvases. And so something in me said, just invite him to create whatever he wants to on the canvas. And when I asked him, I said, when you think of Jesus, what do you think of? And he took some red paint and painted a heart on the canvas. And then he wrote his name backwards, which tripped me up because he did it with such ease. And literally earlier that day, I was trying to paint on one of the canvas canvases and write backwards and it was so hard for me but it was something that was so easy for him and so I knew when I would eventually get back to that canvas that I wanted to invite Owen to be a part of that process in some way and I thought Christmas this canvas is all about Christmas um, because of the childlikeness nature of it um, and it just made sense in my mind to collaborate with children in creating this piece for the holiday. And so it was maybe like two, three months after that party where I asked his mom if he could be um, a co-creator of this work with me. And she asked him and he was so excited about it. And she was like, yes. And then um, I decided to invite another young kid named Code, who was a part of the Holy Family um, community and actually my baptismal uh, godson and if he would also be interested in painting on the piece and he said yes and so set up two studio dates for both of them to come on their own and I gave them the color palette but allowed them to just think when you when you think of Jesus and Jesus's birth into the world what kind of images does it bring to mind and I just allowed them to draw and so they and paint they use pencil drawings like code i think he drew his family on there um owen when he came in he really loved this process of going up and down he was like washing 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 on the canvas and this movement that in watching him do that i was like that's really a cool like the way the paint is dripping and falling on the canvas and your motion i really like that and so i ended up incorporating that movement with the brush and that kind of and every time i would do it i would hear his voice singing watching 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 on some of the paintings to follow uh, but yeah so it was a lot of fun and they had so much joy and freedom um, in creating that it's like i want more of that into my life and you know and it was a bit of a challenge um, in some ways of working with their marks and also bringing my authentic voice into the piece as well. Um, I think, unlike them, this freedom that they had intuitively, there was a part of me that was still kind of wanting to control and um, that I allowed their work to really challenge even in me and pushing me to embrace freedom and to leave playful marks where on the piece, there is this um, like markings and colors and shapes that would make like ev evoke 
thoughts of a child, which is so important, right? With Christmas, it just all made sense to me. Um, and then the last, the third artist to work on it was um, a little girl, I think she was three at the time, or two, named Hazel, who happened to come to an open studio and she loved the painting as well. And she said she was an artist. That's how she introduced herself to me. And she's a part of the Holy Family community. And so I was like, would you like to paint? She said, yes. And so I gave her paintbrush, let her choose the colors um, from the palette and begin to paint on the piece. So the three of them helped me to create the Christmas painting. The Christmas, the colors are white and gold, right? So light, joy, newness, um, so that needed to come through. So that helped in shaping like what colors would be prominent. Um, I, I added blue um, because to tie it in with Advent. Um, and then blue, the ultramarine blue is often used in church history like art, um, Christian art to signify the divinity and the sacredness of Mary. So in icons, you typically see her in this ultramarine blue garb of some sort. So I wanted that blue to be in there as well. Um, so that's the hint of blue. But the gouache and the dirt ended up creating some interesting texture on the canvas that made the gold even more kind of prominent in the piece because it cracked. And so it literally, if you look closely, you see almost like this breaking forth of something in the piece, the piece is breaking. There is this texture that was created um, by using the dirt with this paint wash um, that made it really interesting and the gold tended to like shine through the cracks even, as well as being on top um, of the form. Cy Tombley was also one of the artists that I was in conversations with. And I think he probably, um, and there's a quote from Picasso, it was like, we spend our whole lives trying to paint like a child again, right? Um, and then Cy has these real like beautiful childlike markings on his work. And it's like, oh yeah, I want to be able to do, like, I think the Christmas piece needs that kind of energy. And the children can bring that and they did. And then when it came time to like, like edit and add to and subtract, like I found myself wanting to like, almost like make it adult-like, <laughs> you know? And um, to try to striving for some kind of illusion of perfection maybe that was in my head. Um, and there was a moment when after um, Owen got finished painting, because I had to tell them, now this is part of a long process, right? And there'll be other kids adding and then I'll add. And he looked just like, you, uh, you don't like my painting? <laughs> like bro it's like no i love your painting um but we are creating this together and so even like that kind of work with a child and in my process taught me something like i literally learned new ways of applying paint and what paint can do upon the canvas if used in this motion that I found really interesting and resonated with me. And if I hadn't collaborated with him and invited him into the process, I may have not learned that. And then that would have possibly impacted the other work that I did um, following. Two, three, five people kind of coming together to create one body of work um, is, is pretty, pretty phenomenal. And we, I saw that in the, like the artist collective that I'm a part of too, when we actually showed all the pyramids to invite, I felt like that was like a collaboration process, inviting nine other artists to show and to be in conversation with the work that I was creating as well as what was happening in our world ended up making the whole experience so much stronger, I think. Um, and just different, you know, and unique and beautiful in ways that um, I think enhanced the work that I did um, and hopefully my work also enhanced the work that they did.